I guess there's worse things to be busy doing at the end of the day as well, aren't there? Yeah, like, you must are. be so pleased with how the movie's turned out. I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm really, really delighted that I love it as much as I do. I feel very lucky. It's been quite a long while, I guess, in terms of like when you wrote the book relative to now. It's been quite a long time coming, in a sense, hasn't it? It's so been it's a like... really long journey. In fact, um, somebody said to me last night, 11 years ago, we were saying Harold Fry is coming. And now we're saying Harold Fry is coming again. <laughs> Because it's been a very, very long journey from the book to the film and um, a really interesting one. Yeah. I mean, I guess what was it about it that kind of made you think it would work as a movie? What made you want to like, you know, adapt it for this new format? I knew really early on that I wanted to because of the size of it, mm. because it sort of relies on one man against this huge landscape. And I think that was the sort of point of tension, really, that I, I really wanted to capture. And, and I think that's what the film does so brilliantly, that you see this one man's face and then you see this sort of huge backdrop. I, mean, I guess on that note, there must have been really important to you that they did actually shoot the whole thing, like, where he is supposed to be in the story, I guess. Yeah, they so. were really faithful to it, and I was really grateful to them for doing that. There was no fudging it. They absolutely went... They went where I said they should go. I couldn't believe it. I don't normally have that effect in life, but they did. I guess, how was it for you, kind of, I guess, coming back to the story after the kind of that time away? Did you find that you had, like, any new perspectives on it, anything that you sort of thought you might have done differently, maybe? Or did you kind of see it as you had always seen it, I suppose? Well, I thought, I mean, enough time had passed when I began the adaptation that I didn't feel precious about it, which I thought was the most important thing. And I thought also I have to go into this book and ransack it for the best moments and then, you know, leave behind anything else. And I did have a time when I thought, oh, and I'll add, you know, these sort of different scenes and I'll take them to different places. I mean, I had some mad ideas and I'm glad to say I cut all of them. Because in the end, you know, you have to be true to the spirit of the book and it didn't need me adding, you know, him falling over on the A38 or, you know, all the stuff I thought would be such a good idea to add. Fortunately, I had the foresight to see it needed to go. So, yeah, so kind of the same but different in a way, because it must be quite a different thing turning it into a script versus it's, a novel. It's, I mean, the main kind of job of the film is how do we get the audience into Harold's head as quickly as possible? I mean, in the way that you do with a book. And that was, for me, was the real challenge of the film, was how do we get the audience? And that's where somebody like Jim is so powerful because the moment you see his face, you're moved by him, but you're also intrigued. You want to know why he's doing what he's doing and you know, what do these moments mean? And you see him opening up to the landscape in a way that's really sort of sometimes almost childlike, but very moving. Yeah, it's like it is one of those ones where like you, you see him in the part and then you can't think of anyone else doing it. Like, no. did, did you have him in mind when you were writing? Or yeah, was it? yeah, all the time. So, I mean, that's why I'm so lucky because it's sort of, you know, he's, he's just been with it all along. He did the audio book of the book. So, you know, he's, he's been Harold for a very long time now, in my mind. Yeah, I guess quite personal for him then as well, I suppose. So. Yeah, I hope so, yes. And were you like involved in the day to day much? Were you there on the set or? I was there a little bit. Um, I was there at the beginning, and I was there when they went to Berwick. Um, I was there, I think, at the end. But I tried not to get in the way yeah. because I think, as a writer, especially if you've written the book, which pe some people felt quite strongly about, it was very important for everybody else that I let go and they took it on and didn't feel that I was in the way or that they needed to kind of you know, to kind of run anything past me. So I tried to keep a low profile once the filming was actually happening. And I guess that way also you get to kind of be surprised by it when you actually sit down to watch it for the first time, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, so. really surprised by it. But the thing was that I'm surprised by it, and yet I watch it and I think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. It must be a really surreal thing, though, sitting down and watching this. For the first, I mean, you've, you've probably seen it loads of times by now. But well, like I haven't seen it time. loads of times because I've been careful not to see it too many. But it is, I tried to think how to describe it because there aren't really any adjectives. But the best one I can come, the description is that you have a dream and then you discover the next day it's showing at your local cinema. You know, it's sort of that strange. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. I mean, and have you had the chance to actually see it with an audience tonight yet? Or is that just, is that the premiere tonight that you're tonight looking forward to? Tonight is my for? first time to see it with an yeah. audience of people who aren't, you know, directly involved. Yeah. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm a bit nervous, yeah. but I'm really looking forward to it. It's definitely one that I think, like, you want to be surrounded by a crowd when you see it, if you possibly yes. can, because it's, like, got that crowd-pleasing quality. It does, so. and it's so much about community, you know, and about being with strangers 
that uh, I think the experience of sitting in a cinema and seeing it with people you don't know will be really powerful. Yeah. And kind of on that note, I guess, I think, like, what are you hoping that people who go and see it take away from it? What do you think that they're going to... Yeah, well, I, guess, what, what, I guess what do you hope the movie leaves them with, especially if, not, if, they're, if, they're, if they don't know the story, if they've not read the book, for example? Yeah. I think maybe with a number of things, but one is just with a feeling of that sort of, if we don't understand what we don't know, then there's no hope. You know, that we need to connect. And we need, I mean, we're human beings at our best. We empathise with people whose lives are different from our own. And I think that's what the film is about, really. Those small moments that sort of become epic. <laughs>